Uh, hello everyone welcome to tech hawk today i am going to show you how to draw this fly time vice in solidworks so let's start first of all uh, you have to create a new part from top plane we are going to take a circle center rectangle and then from a smart dimension we are going to put 8 inch make sure your dimension is in inch also this one is 8 then take circle command and draw a circle here from a smart dimension make this circle diameter point 130 okay this is okay and then from this point to this point it should be 0.5 this will be automatically 0.5 now from linear sketch pattern click here entities this and this should be 7 direction should be 7 and we want also in y axis so make it 2 also this one is 7 so now we have got 4 cycles click ok we need another circle this one click here from a smart dimension select this point and this center of the circle point it should be 3.5 okay and this one and this one should be 2 okay and the diameter of this circle should be 3 by 8 okay exit sketch now from features extrude boss and it should be 0 0.5 okay <coughs> actually in these holes there are thread but for simplicity we are skipping that thread part just drawing circles here I mean hole here and we want to chamfer the circles what you have is okay point one okay so after doing this just save this part this is the pedestal base save it in the desktop I am going to that is one save then create a new part now we are going to draw the housing take right plane and sketch make a circle here from a spawn dimension make this circle diameter is 0.5 ok exit sketch extruded boss up to 3 ok click ok now select this face take a sketch take normal view and then from the 0 0 take a circle from smart dimension make the diameter of the circle is 0.378 
exit sketch now from extrude cut 2.875 okay yeah done now take this face click sketch on this face take normal view draw a circle make this circle is 3 by 8 ok now exit sketch extruded boss up to 0.45 ok take chamfer command click this is 45 degree ok and this should be 0 0.017 ok and then take top plane make it normal take a circle this center and this point should be horizontal ok from smart dimension make it point zero five okay exit sketch just extrude cut through all any direction okay we have done here click save number two this is called pedestal housing so we are going to part number three also take right plane sketch take a circle from smart dimension 0 0.368 ok exit sketch excluded boss 6 ok now what we are going to do is take fillet make this edge round 0.125 ok take top plane again make it normal make a dry rectangle and from a smart dimension this rectangle should be point this arm should be 0.25 and from this point to that point it should be 0.75 ok now draw some line and from trim into this just trim this now exit sketch from extruded cut through all both click ok that's fine now take a face click sketch take normal view we are going to draw a new circle layer ok from a smart dimension the, time, uh, the diameter should be 0 0.252 ok and the distance should be 
फोर थ्री सेवन ओके नाउ एग्जिट स्केच एक्सप्लोडेड कट नब टू नेक्स्ट ओके दट्स फाइन सेव दिस पार्ट सेव close this take new part okay our fourth part is the main housing take right plane sketch okay okay no problem now we are going to do is from smart dimension make this point 406 and this one should be 0.750 okay take a circle in the midpoint to this point trim trim this okay center point and this point should be horizontal okay now take another circle from smart dimension a smaller circle diameter should be 0.563 okay now take trim this 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 no need exit stage okay extrude boss 1.75 okay mm, we are good to go so take this face click sketch take normal view now take a corner rectangle from this point to end of this point from smart dimension make this line is 0.813 and this one is 0.75 okay take a circle smart dimension the diameter should be 0.252 okay mm, this center point and this line it should be 0.375 and this center point this should be 0.25 diameter okay and these are okay yes then exit sketch extruded boss up to surface this surface okay now what we do is take this face sketch here take normal view and draw a corner rectangle from here to here from smart dimension make this 0.25 okay and this point to this point is also Five. Uh, okay. Others are okay. Exit. Features. Extract cut. Okay. Uh, now select fillet. We have to select total six edge. Oh. 
not this face this edge this edge yes number total number 6 the radius should be 0.25 okay so our main housing is also complete click save number 4 main housing ok save it now our next part is rotating house so to draw this from right plane take sketch draw circle here from smart dimension make this circle diameter is 9 by 6 sorry 9 by 16 ok exit sketch now extrude boss up to 3.5 ok then select this face click sketch take normal view and again draw a circle here and by smart dimension make this inner circle is 3 by 8 exit sketch select extruded cut and cut it up to 0 0.719 0 0.719 ok then click ok yes this is done now select this face click sketch take normal view take a circle here now from smart dimension make this 0 0.495 0 0.495 oops ok no problem exit sketch extrude cut this up to 1.375 minus point no no need just put it point 313 okay select this space again take a sketch take normal view and draw another circle here from smart dimension make the diameter of this circle is 0.25 again extrude cut through all ok yeah this is fine select this surface take a sketch and take normal view and draw another circle this should be bigger than the previous one take normal view and then from the smart dimension make this 0.625 exit sketch extruded boss not this direction change the direction and make this 1.375 ok oops we have made some mistake here don't forget to make this convert into this and or draw another circle yes now this is okay we are going to do knurling on this face so select this surface again take a sketch take normal view okay draw some three point center rectangle ok select this diagonal line and make horizontal this diagonal line make vertical and from smart dimension make it 0 0.02 ok 
now select this outer circle and control this point coincident again this point and this point should be vertical okay exit sketch take sketch in that again okay select this outer edge make convert entities exit sketch and from curves take helix and spiral change this pitch and revolution to height and pitch reverse the direction height should be 1.375 okay and pitch should be 2 yes 2 is okay select okay oh we have mm, to edit this feature and the angle should be 90 degrees click ok now we are going to swift this swift cut this select this as a profile and select this helix as a path click ok so we have cut now select from feature select mirror mirror face should be this should be cut sweep and this face should be front plane yes front plane ok click ok now from circular pattern select both mirror and cut sweep and the reference this line 25 ok no problem click ok and wait for a moment So we have cut it some knurling. We have made this face as knurling. So our rotating housing is finished here. Yes, I think so. Just save it. Save this as five space rotating house. click save close this create a new part here our next part is josh shaft so again take right plane take a circle here from a smart dimension make this 0.25 ok now exit stage from feature extrude it up to 5.125 minus 0.875 okay 4.25 now take top plane click sketch take normal view that side i am going to 
take a line command after this and this okay take another line command from here to here this should be horizontal and take a spline from this point to that point okay now from smart dimension this point and this point difference should be 0.625 to and this point and this point difference should be 0.875 okay and uh, this point and that point should be 0.25 everything is okay now select this spline make this almost vertical okay exit sketch revolve cut axis select this line okay sketch it again this point and this point should be coincident of midpoint okay exit sketch revolve pause select this okay now it is okay select top plane again play sketch take a center rectangle here and select this point point like this draw a rectangle now from a smart dimension select this point zero six okay and difference between this point to that point is 2.5 okay exit sketch extract cut both side okay yeah it seems okay to me again top plane take a sketch take normal view we are going to draw another rectangle here from smart dimension make this 0.175 and this point and this point difference should be 0.75 ah, that's all now draw some line to close this okay from trim remove this line exit sketch from features extruded cut through all both okay now we are going to draw a hole here make this point this point horizontal from smart dimension the diameter should be 0.125 and the distance between two point is 0.188 okay diameter is okay 0.125 and this one is okay Mm -hmm. okay. Exit sketch, extract cut, up to next. Okay. So this 
part is also done here click save part number six short shift save close this part create a new part part number seven our handle cam so we are going to take right plane stage take circle again from smart dimension make the diameter of this circle is 0.28 Point two okay, five. Okay, now exit is case extruded boss. No, now extruded boss should be 0.737. Okay, click. Okay, now take the top plane again. Or okay, we are going to take top plane. Take a sketch here, center rectangle, this point to this point. Now trim into this, trim this. Smart dimension, this one should be 0.6 to Five. Okay, and uh, this should be at the midpoint of this. Okay, sketch. Make it a little bit. Okay, this is okay, I think. From Fill it, select this edge and this edge, and that should be 0.25 radius. Okay, and also select this face and this, and this should be 0 0.063. Now move to the right side, to take a line here, this point, this point, and same as before, this point, from a smart dimension, take another line up to this, okay, from a smart dimension, make the difference this point and this point it should be 0.625 divided by 2 okay 0 0.31 and the difference between this point and that point is okay this point is 1.25 minus 0.737 okay and make this point and this point vertical and draw a center rectangle here oh no This point point four six nine. This point and this point should be coincident. Yes. Now okay. Take a circle command here. 
to the midpoint like this now extend this line to this okay now we have to train a lot of entities train this train this train this train this train this up oh, but before train this make this line up to this okay now train this train this train this train this Train also this, this, this. Okay. Also this. Exit sketch and this point to that point. And we're going to train this also. Okay, just delete this again fillet this this edge okay now everything is okay so we are going to take top plane and then sketch then center rectangle draw a rectangle here make this point and this point is horizontal and from smart dimension this should be point 205 okay and this point and this line should be 0.25 okay now we are going to do is cut we are going to cut out this point extrude cut through all both okay Click OK. Again, we take this face, click sketch, take normal view. Then take a circle. And from a smart dimension, this point to this point, it should be 0.469. Point four six nine okay from the smart dimension make the diameter of this circle is point zero zero five not zero zero five point zero five okay exit sketch now extrude cut through all both So we are also done with this part, click save, this is number 7, handle cam, save it, close this part, create new, ok our next part is adjustment knob, to draw this take right plane, click sketch, take normal view oh it's already in normal view so take a circle and from the smart dimension this circle should be 3 by 8 and exit stage extruded boss and this should be 0.75 ok tick mark and take this face again take a sketch take normal view take a circle command draw a circle and this time from a smart dimension make this circle is one okay exit sketch extrude boss okay the length should be Point two five. Okay, take this 
again take normal view take a circle here oh no from the from from the origin take a circle from a smart dimension make the diameter of this point six to five okay now exit the sketch extrude boss and this should be point zero six three okay again take this face take a sketch take normal view take a circle corner from the origin point from the smart dimension make this diameter is 0.25 exit stage again this time we need a hole inside this so we can select up to next okay yes now we will make a knurling here so we have already shown you how to draw this we are going to skip this time so knurling is done here save this part number eight adjustment knob okay close this part take a new part take right side plane sketch again take a circle from the smart dimension make this one and take another circle inside this make that turn 9 by 16 now extrude this up to 0.25 ok again we are going to make this face snarling This is also done here. Just save this part. 9 and 18. I'll close this. Create a new assembly file. Okay. First of all, we are going to take the pedestal base number 1. Save it here. <coughs> Again, we are going to Browse number two. Here is cell housing. Open. Okay. So, from mate command, made this face and this inside face. Concentric. Okay. And this, not that face, this face and that face should be here ok now we are going to import here insert part number 3 here we are going to select this mate this mate this one but Direction is should be opposite. Okay. Select this face. This face and actually there should be some this face. Okay. Hmm. 
then we will add part number 4 the main housing part number 4 main housing here ok select this face mate with that face yeah this seems ok to me ok now this and this should be concentric ok now we are going to add number 5 the rotating housing so insert this browse number 5 rotating housing here ok and this with this inner face ok and the distance between this face and that face there should be some distance here we will make this distance as 0.5 inch look here our uh, unit system is in millimeter so we have to change it into the IPS system ok I have made the inch there Again, we are going to insert a new component. Part number six. This face and that face. Okay. Now we will insert a part number seven. And then from here, we are going to make this face with that face. This will be co-centric. Yes, co-centric relationship. Okay. And then we are going to add part number 8. Adjustment knob. Okay. and this also concentrate with this ok again insert another components that is not also this concentrate with this Take this face, mate with that face. Okay. And put this one this time. And make this face. Oh, we have made some mistake here. This should be similar as this this is number 7 so we are going to open number 7 this cut extrude 0.125 ok exit sketch click save Close this. Yes. Now mate uh, this to that. Okay. 
now it looks better So select this face and that face make a distance point zero one okay and also this face in this face make a distance point zero five okay So here is our flight time guys, uh, you can change it, you can modify it as your own, uh, especially the assembly, the relations between them, you can add some point, uh, pin here, here and make some motion here, okay, you can also modify the other components as your own, I have just shown how to draw this, that's all, you can add some appearance or color here. Uh, okay, that's all for today. Thank you for very much for watching this.